The embed environment is used to create models, solve or simulate those models, and run models interactively on embedded processors, also called targets. In this video, we will use the Altair Embed product to create, modify, and plot several signals. The start time, step time, and end time of any simulation are configured in the System, System Properties menu. Here, we configured the simulation to run from 0 to 10 seconds in increments of 0.01 seconds. Basic signal producer blocks reside in the Blocks Signal Producer menu. A sinusoid block is selected and placed on the screen. Notice the block has one output. This is called an output pin. Right mouse button reveals the sinusoid parameters. We'll set the frequency to 2 pi radians per second and the amplitude to 1. Basic signal consumer blocks reside in the Blocks Signal Consumer menu. A plot block is selected and placed on the screen. Notice the block has eight inputs, each called an input pin and numbered top down from one to eight. Let's connect the sinusoid to the green input, pin three, of the plot block. Place the mouse over pin three, hold the left button down, then drag the mouse to the sinusoid pin and release to create a wire connection. To ensure the connection, place the mouse on the sinusoid, hold the mouse left button, and wiggle the mouse. All connections are shown as green lines. From the toolbar, select Go, and the simulation is executed almost instantaneously with the sinusoid time history result displayed in the plot block. Simulation information is presented in the lower right corner of the embed window. RNG displays the start colon stop time in seconds. Step is the time step in seconds, and capital T displays the elapsed time during the simulation run, also in seconds. By selecting the Run in Real Time option in the System, System Properties menu, we can force the simulation to run in real time. Now when we select Go, the elapsed time increments in real time. Let's integrate our sinusoid using an integrator block from the Blocks Integration menu. We'll connect the integrator output to input pin 4 of the plot block and to the output pin of the sinusoid. After selecting Go, we see the two time history signals evolve in real time. Since the sinusoid frequency was set to 2 pi and began at an amplitude equal to 0, the amplitude of the integrated signal will range from 0 to pi inverse. Selecting the Auto Restart option in the System System Properties menu causes the simulation to automatically run repeated. There are special embed variables that provide the ability to modify conditions for each run, but we'll save an explanation of those until later.